Hello friends of the world. 10 years ago, I resolved to use bicycles more and more. I've always been a fan of bicycles. I think this is one of the greatest inventions ever. Today I'll share with you how I use this tiny bicycle to commute to my workplace, the Alternative University, some seven kilometers away from the Sekmol Alternative School. So here I go while telling you about the benefits of using more and more bicycles. I hope some of you will make a pledge on ilivesimply.org to use bicycles more and more and keep cars off the road. Here I go. So, let me tell you why I find bicycles the most beautiful machine. It is zero dependence on energy sources and zero pollution. It actually is good for our health. Do you know that according to a study in UK, it reduces the risk of cardiovascular diseases by 46% if you commute on bicycles and not in cars. And of course, every time you take a bicycle and not your car, you're saving roughly a kilogram of CO2 for every five kilometers or so. And if millions of people do that, it will be millions of tons of CO2 emission and global warming and the melting of our glaciers in Ladakh. And did you know that Netherlands is the number one country in bicycles? 25% of all commute is done on bicycles, they say. Can India be the next bicycle country and lead the world? While for the planes, normal bicycles are great, they give you good exercise, for hilly areas, pedal assist electric bicycles are great because they give you an option to pedal like a bicycle when you feel strong and it's flat. But if you have an uphill or if you're tired, then you can bring the assistance of the batteries. And they're quite powerful also. You can see how. <clears throat> So, I continue with my bicycle musings. If bicycles are so great, then why don't more people use them? I think the reasons are, A, the infrastructure is not designed for bicycles, at least in Indian cities. B, the air in cities is so polluted that you won't want to be huffing and puffing in a highly polluted atmosphere. See, on our roads, there's a kind of caste system where the smallest is the least important and the biggest is the mightiest. So bicycles are treated like mosquitoes and therefore people are afraid of being hit by these mighty trucks and SUVs. So what could be the solution? Well, future cities will be designed bicycle friendly if enough people ride bicycles. Now how do we get there? For the reason of uh, pollution, can we make a start somewhere say by celebrating one day in the week as a bicycle day and public transport day when all cars private cars are not allowed on the road, only bicycles, rickshaws, taxis and other public transport is allowed. Now, private cars would be allowed, but for that you will have to have a 
pass displayed and that pass should cost a lot of money. So only people who have to take their private car will take. Otherwise, they will want to save money and use one of these public transports or bicycles. And on that day at least, roads will be clear and air will be cleaner and more and more people will come on their bicycles, making it a festive atmosphere. And maybe some progressive city like Delhi could take an initiative and pass a law to start such days at least once a week. And who knows, gradually we may be able to become one of the world's most bicycle-friendly countries. The third reason of uh, dangers of uh, using bicycles on Indian roads so I have an idea. What if we made a law whereby hitting a bicycle is a definite loss of your driving license or a huge fine? Now, suddenly, the tiny bicycle will be larger than its life. Maybe that such innovative laws can make a huge difference. Because then, trucks and buses and cars will be afraid of bicycles instead of the reverse. Maybe some city or some state can experiment with a law like this and empower the bicycles. And uh, now I see that I'm nearer to my destination, the Himalayan Institute of Alternatives, where we try all possibilities of cutting down on traffic and all the darker sides of our modern lives. And I will put my bicycle to charge. That will be its refueling. This whole alternative university campus is completely solar powered those are solar powered buildings and this is a solar powered parking shed where we put our electric cars to charge and similarly our electric or pedal assist electric bicycles to charge i will now put my bicycle to charge and refuel while i go to work like this. But before I go, I thought I should tell you one more great thing about such small bicycles. So if you need to, for example, if you're on the road and a friend comes, or if you need to go somewhere far, then you can fold these bicycles very conveniently like this. And you can put the seats down, you can Pull the handle down, even the pedals fold up, and now I can take it and put it in the car. So thank you friends, this is how little bicycles or big ones Normal bicycles or pedal assist ones can make a lot of difference to our environment by keeping cars off the road for most parts. You can even take them in metros and buses for longer distances and do the last mile on this bicycle. Thank you very much. I do hope you will uh, consider going green for bicycles and live simply and let others live simply. Thank you.